One of the things I'm going to speak about tomorrow at the, um, at the Nashville Mastermind event is the concept of team and leverage and ultimately how important it is to have your uh, team optimized to uh, be able to grow your uh, business. So many people think that in business it's all about getting new patients and if they just get more new patients all of their problems are solved. I'm going to put it to you and anybody watching this video that as your business grows um, ultimately the biggest problem you will run into is, is people and your ability to hire uh, the right person, to train the right person uh, and ultimately to keep the right person uh, at the, uh, uh, performing at the standards I'm going to call them uh, that you need to uh, be able to, to um, achieve the financial success that you want in your life. So many people just accept uh, the first job interview, you know, the first guy or girl that comes along, uh, and there's no thought goes into ultimately uh, what was that person hired for uh, anyway. Ultimately, anybody who's hired by any business is hired for one reason and one reason only, it's to solve a problem. And that problem will either be to get customers or to keep customers. So when you're thinking of your um, next hire, whether it's a front desk person, whether it's a, a PT, um, that's kind of where you have to start from. What's the problem that I've got in my business? Um, what do I need this person to do that I'm about to hire? So what are the tasks? What do I need to be able to call this person successful? So they're going to have to be able to convert discovery visits and keep people on schedule. They're going to have to uh, have a plan of care of 10 or 11 sessions. They're going to have to be able to get referrals from uh, patients. These are the real tasks, and the real skills, if you like, that we're going to need from a PT. It's not so much about the clinical care because for most people that's pretty easy. Um, and how would you know if, if somebody was being successful with clinical care? It's so subjective. But what we can do as business owners is say, hey, um, these are the three or four or five skills that I need you to have, and these are the things that I'm going to judge you on um, to be able to call you successful. So my role as the business owner is to put that out in a success description that basically calls out to somebody who is willing um, to play that game with me, who wants to uh, call themselves successful, if you like, in my role, and ultimately help my business to be more successful. My job then is to ensure that they have the um, onboarding process nailed down so that if I'm asking them to do discovery visits and complete a plan of care and to get referrals, my job as the business owner is to at least arm them for battle and train them around discovery visits in week one and then completed plans of care in week two and so on and so forth. So that at the end of 90 days, I have a good idea of whether or not this person is capable of being successful uh, in my business and ultimately helping my business to achieve the, the standards that we're, uh, you know, financially that we're looking for. From then, it's about coaching and optimizing and ultimately what does the, you know, weekly conversation look like with the PT or with the front desk person to ensure that the standards that we set when we hired them, that we put in the success description and said, hey, this is what success looks like, are they currently being achieved? Team is ultimately the only leverage that you've got in business. It's your ultimate leverage. If you are trying to grow a business without any focus on team and creating a culture of um, empowerment, uh, I put it to you, that's the reason that your business is stalled. You'll be constantly looking for more and more and more new patients, but if you don't figure out how to ultimately get the best from your team, how to coach them, how to train them, how to optimize them, how to keep them accountable, really, real, real, real A players want to be held accountable and love it and your job as the business owner is to find those people. I assure you that they are there. Um, it's nearly always that we're just not looking for them. And um, if I could give you one piece of advice uh, when it comes to hiring, start the process with what problem am I solving? What skills and what competencies do I need to solve that problem? And how will I know if somebody's done it? When you have that process in play in your business, your business will solve. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books which will show you how to add more profit to your practice or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic and by the way if you know anybody who would find this helpful please share this video out thanks so much